Hello everybody, welcome to another junk journal with me video. Uh, to start off in this video I'm going to do some sort of spooky Halloween pages. They're not really documenting anything to do with Halloween at all, I just felt like using my Halloween stash um, and using some pictures, uh, well I'll talk about those in a sec, but just to explain some of my Halloween stuff I have some new bits from the Tim Holtz, from the Tim Holtz? Oh dear. From Tim Holtz. He is the Tim Holtz though, let's be honest. Anyway, the Halloween wallpapers, which I don't find particularly Halloween-y anyway, but they are gorgeous. And then I have a big box of just Halloween scraps and stuff. So I just dove into there, pulled out all sorts of things. There's um, these, I think, are they called lenticular? pictures the ones that change based on the angle and there's some of those I bought from Poundland a couple of years ago that are like vintage pictures one way and then a spooky skeleton uh, the other way so I use that as a journal card there's this lovely flocked paper which is from a previous Tim Holtz Halloween collection which I'm using as a pocket just yeah all sorts of bits and scraps those black frames are from those lenticular pictures and stuff so oh and then there's the pink paisley spell car stuff which was I think it came out in 2017 and I don't think Pink Paisley have done a Halloween collection since but I just love that collection so much it's just perfect in my eyes for Halloween I just oh I love it but yeah I'm going to talk about those pictures so basically uh someone on Instagram a fellow cat person who also has a black floofy cat like I do she sent me this picture that she had done for um I don't think it was Inktober but a challenge like that which is that black cat with the purple background and the cat has got like a mouse in its claws and it says villain on the top and it just really reminded me of my cat Conan this year because this year for the first time in 10 years since we've had Conan we've had mice um now we do live this is a very old house so you kind of expect them um, and like before Conan was around, we had to have traps and all that sort of thing. But he is such an excellent mouser that since he's been around, we haven't had any problems. But this year, because presumably because 2020 and everything about this year has to suck, um, we there has been a little bit of a mouse problem. Only downstairs, thankfully. I think I would freak if they got upstairs. But anyway, um, and as I said, Conan is a very excellent mouser, so we haven't had to lay any traps or anything because he does it all by himself. So I have a picture of him bringing me one of his catches at three o'clock in the morning, which is pretty much when he did it every single time. He gets his catch, he comes all the way up to my bedroom, which is like 54 steps up. It's a very tall house as well as an old house. And then I get woken up by this sort of meow, 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 like he's really proud of himself. And then he just kind of like, look, look what I did. And then I won't tell you what he does with the mouse afterwards because I realise some people are a lot more squeamish than I am because I'm not really squeamish at all. But um, yes, something else happens after that. But he has to show me first. And because I'm a cat person. I'm always like, oh, he's such a good boy, he's such a clever boy, because you have to praise them when they do that. He's bringing me a gift. He's showing me that he's doing his job of keeping the mice at bay and stuff. So even if it is three o'clock in the morning, I praise him and I give him treats and he's so proud of himself. And I'm really sorry if you're a mouse lover. I get it, they are super cute, but they can do some serious damage to houses. You know, they chew through wires and all sorts of things. And that's, that's, it's just, it's natural. That's what a cat does. But anyway, that is a very long winded version of me telling you why I'm using that picture. Picture's very dark, obviously, because it was taken at three o'clock in the morning. Um, but it just, that picture that I had been sent to me, I just, I had to use it with that picture. I did ask permission to use that picture in my journal and then eventually share it on social media. And I will link the Instagram account where she does her artwork. I think it's called small doses design but I could be wrong but it will be linked in the description box but yes just to say obviously if you want to use anything like that then please ask the person as I did I had permission to use it I just I thought it was brilliant and obviously I don't think he's a villain like it says in the picture but I'm fairly sure the mice probably think he's a villain <laughs> oh dear but yes talking about what I did I'm just using all sorts of bits and scraps from my Halloween box a few stickers from the Spellcast collection um, just to fill in some of the gaps I pull I'm about to pull out um, a Tim Holtz label because I wanted to write 
um, her Instagram handle, so I had it in my journal to say where that villain picture came from, just so I know for future reference or if I share it again or whatever. I did some journaling on some fountain pen paper um, to go on the back of that lenticular card thing that I'm using as a journal card, and just adding a few stickers in the background just to add a little bit of something. Those bats there I'm using are from my own Halloween collection, and I what I had done is I was supposed to be printing off some ephemera for an order and I accidentally did it on sticker paper so I cut it anyway just to use for myself and then redid the order. That gold flower I just stuck on with something that had been hanging around on my desk and then I glued that journaling to the back of that card. I had to leave it for a while before gluing it because I wanted to give the fountain pen ink some time to dry. I had used a, a black uh, ink with gold shimmer because I think it just looks great for anything like this but it needed a minute to dry and then I'm just going to add a little arrow to point to the mouse on the picture because you can't really see it at first like it just looks like it's a bit of fluff on the carpet or something and I pop my journaling card in and that's the spooky spread done um if you have been looking away because you didn't like what I was talking about or whatever then it's time to you can come back now it's happy pretty floral things from now on pretty much um here I am doing a spread um, kind of documenting pen palling. Um, I that envelope. Um, I'd already covered up the front uh, my address with a journal card, and I cut off the bit that had her address on it. But the inside of that envelope, like, had uh, a paper lining with the most beautiful like bird and tree sort of blossoms pattern. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm using some washi samples that have been sent to me by pe from pen pals just to. Uh, cover up the background a little bit, add a little bit of something. But I just kind of wanted to journal about, oh, and those stickers I'm putting down were from another pen pal. I'm kind of using bits from multiple pen pals here. But um, yeah, I was just kind of journaling about the fact that I used to do a lot of pen paling and then I had a couple of really negative experiences uh, when people wanted to be pen pals through my YouTube or my Instagram or something. Just... I don't want to talk about it at length, but just some really negative experiences of people who only wanted stuff from me, shall I say, and then never replied. Um, and so recently I joined for this pen pal group for people into fountain pens and it has been great and it's it's all about the letters, it's not about the stuff. Like we might exchange a few little stickers and washi samples and bits like that, but it's not like it's about the letter. The letter is the main point of the whole thing, which is what I personally want in a pen pal. And it's just been great. And so I just thought I would journal about that and how, you know, it's made me feel a whole lot better about the whole pen paling thing now that I'm having a really positive experience. So just a quick little spread about that. I did my journaling on that card, also sent by a pen pal, slipped into that very beautiful envelope, completely obsessed with it. And that was it. Very simple, quick little page this page um okay just to say what I'm doing in the background here you could probably tell but I'm just using all my various William Morris style washi just to completely cover the background and then I have this photo which I have wanted to journal for a month or so now just because every time I look at it I crack up laughing you will hopefully see it in a second or two basically my mum and I had gone out for lunch or no we went for lunch um, we only got out a few times over the summer because during the first lockdown we were shielding so we didn't go out again till like August and then obviously things started kicking off again and like october -y time so we haven't been out much this year <laughs> but this is one of the few occasions but we went into this place and we got like shown to our table and we sat down and there was a cactus in a pot in the middle of the table and it was the most phallic looking cactus you ever did see and to add to that it was also kind of floppy and leaning out of the pot and as soon as we saw it like we hadn't even sat at the table yet we just started giggling and the waiter obviously knew because he started giggling as well and oh I know it's childish but just look at it if you can see it big enough on your screen I just <laughs> Oh dear, that cactus. Eventually my mum had to put it on the floor so we could enjoy our coffee and our food um, without getting distracted. Oh, but yeah, but I've just placed that on a journaling card, a prima journaling card, and I did fountain pen paper, backed it with some book paper, 
um, and then just stuck that straight in the middle to do my journaling. There's me freaking out because I thought my Mont Blanc pen was playing up and it just turned out it ran out of ink. <laughs> really freaked me out that I thought it was broken. Um, and then on the other side of the journaling card, I've just tipped that in with some washi at the bottom. I put a picture of the food that I got um, once I'd stopped laughing about the calic, the, the calic? I'm trying to say cactus and phallic at the same time. <laughs> but just yes, I did. Um, added the picture, added some stickers. I added what I ate. I think it was fried chicken and waffles waffles with sriracha it's one of those places where it's it's really nice but it's a little bit hipster in that everything has either avocado or sriracha or both it was very yummy though i'll give you that i'm just adding a few stickers there i found some cactus stickers so obviously had to put those in i had done the lettering um the thing that says basically fried chicken and waffles um with one of those tombow is it Fude, Fuda something, Fudanesca, Fudanesca, I don't know, whatever, I'll try and link it if you're interested. Okay, next up is, well it's not a double page spread, it's I've just I happen to work on both pages, they're completely separate, kind of, they're not related to each other at all, basically. But that envelope was some junk mail, and I really loved the fact that it had, you know, the cut out square at the front where the address would go, but it also had that oval at the back. Um, with the plastic and I just thought that looked great and would be fucking great for junk journaling So I have gone through my new botanical sticker book, which I think is done by the same company as the antiquarian Sticker book. It is so gorgeous. I love it so much So I wanted to remember to kind of use it and um, the washi I use in the background I just wanted to cover up a big piece of the page with something pretty is some Monet themed washi which was just from like ebay or aliexpress or something like that super super wide as you can see and then i cut up that really big sticker from the, the botanical sticker book so that it would come out from the side of where i stuck the envelope down and then you could also see it where the the kind of the aperture is on the other side of the envelope and then I stuck the envelope down, adding some bits and pieces of washi to look pretty. I'm going to go back through and add more little bits and pieces from the sticker book. These stickers are, I think they're designed to be removable stickers, so they don't stick very well. So you do have to add a little bit of glue to them. Well, you don't have to, but it's, I think it's better to do that. And then I had that card that said, let hope bloom. I think that came in an order of something. Like I bought my sister a bracelet for her birthday and that just came in the order. So I thought I'd keep it for myself and use it for some journaling. And I journaled about a certain, this was on Saturday I did this and I journaled about a certain world event that we all know that happened on Saturday. And there is a little bit of bad language in there about my feelings about a particular person. So don't zoom in if you're offended by really, really bad words. Because what people think is the baddest word ever is used multiple times on that journaling card. Um, <laughs> I'll let you guess my feelings about that particular person. Anywho, that was it for that page. Nice and simple. And then on the other side was some watercolour paper. So I used this as an opportunity to test out or do some swatches of some new new shiny beautiful new art supplies these are the stabilo woody pencils which are quite similar to the stabilo all pencils in that they're very very beautifully water reactive look at that it's gorgeous um but they're much thicker and they come in lots more colors i have wanted them for ages and ages and ages and a lovely friend bought some for me and sent them to me as a very early birthday present it was a complete surprise like this amazon box arrived randomly i'm like i haven't ordered anything from amazon in the past two days so what is this and it was just this these to be like um pencils and i was just like oh it's amazing thank you so much so just wanted to do the swatches of those i added a, just a few fun stickers in the, the space that was left and i found this journaling card with a quote about friends and it had the rainbow on it as well which i thought went nicely with all the rainbow color swatches gonna do my journaling on the reverse side of that but that little paper brush um it came in the set like you can choose to get the just the pencils the pencils and the sharpener the pencils the sharpener and the brush i had put on my wish wish list the pencils and the sharpener because it's an awkward size i knew would knew i would need the sharpener but i didn't need another brush but the packaging is obviously the same for all of them so in the space where you there would be a brush 
they just have this cardboard brush and I just thought that was great and hilarious so I put that in there as well I have the gift note from her as well that I stuck on there I did my journaling and just added a few little pretty bits uh, strips of washi and some heart stickers stuff like that tipping it in with some rainbow washi and I think that is going to be it for this video is it I'm trying to remember yes yes it is so there we go thank you so so much as always for watching links to some of the bits i have used will be in the description box if they are not in the description box they might be in my amazon storefront link as well so check that out and other things i've used might be from my shop as well so that will be linked as well basically all of the links will be down there anyways please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chat to me in the comments and please subscribe if you haven't already because i noticed on my analytics this morning over 50% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so um, there's that too. And with that said, I'm going to shut up and go. Again, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm going. Bye-bye!